All right, so are we rolling, shall we? Yeah. So new lake thing today. Um, I kind of wanted to break it into three parts instead of just doing like one video uh, to kind of give you guys, I guess, a little bit more detail and a little bit more focus on kind of, you know, how to basically fish a new lake for walleyes. So I've never been here before. We're going to Red Cedar Lake, which is like half an hour south, 45 minutes south, something like that from Hayward. Um, it's kind of like on a chain of lakes. And the first thing I'm doing, I've had some clients basically tell me that there's walleyes in here. I don't know, like, it doesn't seem like there's big ones. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm going on a whole bunch of internet sites, lake links, uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm just looking at reports. And basically what I'm seeing is that it sounds like guys are catching mostly smaller walleyes, right? So I've never even looked at this lake on a map. Um, but the first thing I want to do, just to make sure it's worth my time to even go there today, is, uh, you know, ideally find some reports of some decent walleyes in here. So... All right, so a little bit of quick information. Red Cedar Lake is almost 1,900 acres, so it's a decent sized. I hate lakes. Generally, it seems like if you get on lakes that are like less than 1,000 acres, the potential for that lake to be decent starts going down pretty quick, especially for walleyes. We're just overall good quality sized fish. Um, so this lake's just about 2,000 acres, so it's plenty big to have basically the fish that, you know, a decent number of walleyes in it. Um, has a maximum depth of 53 feet, so that's good. I don't like a lot of lakes that get like 12 feet deep, 15 feet deep. I like lakes that have some depth to it. Generally up here, that means they're going to be a little bit better for walleye fishing. Um, fish include panfish, largemouth, smallmouth, northern pike, walleye. Water clarity is low, so it's not going to be a super clear lake. In fact, I know a little bit about this chain just because I hear stuff from about it. I think it gets relatively green in the summer, so it's probably kind of tinted up right now. I mean, it's August now. All right, guys, so I had to go all the way back to 2015, but... I found some halfway decent walleye reports. Overall, it seems like most of the walleyes are probably under 18 in this lake. Um, and a lot of like 14, 15 inches, which is fine. I mean, there's a lot of you guys that probably have the same kind of scenario on your home lake. Um, so I am totally fine with just not trying to catch big walleyes. But uh, 2015, catch some, this is from August, which is good because that's the time of year we're fishing. Catch some nice walleye in deeper water, close to reefs. Got three legals, one was 27 inches and four sub-legals yesterday morning. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, I mean, that sounds like it's kind of like your standard, I mean, deeper water bite during the summer months. So, and that's pretty common for most lakes. So the next thing we want to do is basically come over to the hummingbird here and uh, look at some structure, you know, kind of pick out some areas of the lake we think are going to be likely. You know, I'm not sure. It doesn't, if this is a low clarity lake, your weed line is going to be relatively shallow. My guess is there's not a lot of weeds growing close to that 20 feet line. Maybe I'm wrong, who knows, but that's kind of the general um, rule with as far as how water clarity and weed depth goes. So we're going to kind of look at the map here. Maybe it's some deep sand humps, maybe it's deep rock humps. We have no idea yet, but we're going to look at the map next and kind of show you guys some likely areas we're going to target. All right, so here's the lake. So the next thing we're going to do is basically start dialing into looking at structure. I've pretty much never looked at the lake of this. When we decided we were going to do this yesterday, I briefly looked just to make sure there was a lot of structure and it wasn't like a lake that was just plain, flat, boring. Because... Um, I didn't want to do something like that. So just looking at the lake here, kind of a quick overview. Here's the north end. It looks like we got a lot of these like long points, uh, like spine type things, which walleyes always love this kind of structure. Um, the availability of structure is definitely not a problem, as you can tell. Uh, here's some deep water over here. I mean, we got humps, points, kind of everywhere, which is good. Um, I hate fish on lakes where there's just nothing because that either means we're going to be just trolling flats or walleyes are going to be super scattered. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to start doing some depth piling. And this is something I do on pretty much every lake I'm on, whether it's my first time on that lake or I've been on it a million different times. So, um, you know, I'm kind of assuming that these fish are either going to be, you know, it's midsummer. So the, currently where we're catching them in Hayward, we're catching a lot of fish in that, I would say 20 to 30 foot zone um, and 30 feet. They're not really on the bottom, but this is kind of like, this is kind of like what we're doing in Hayward right now. My guess is on this lake, I think it's probably going to be a little bit shallower just because this weed edge um, or the water clarity is a little bit lower. So even though we got really deep water, 50 feet of water, um, I don't think fishing at 30 feet is going to be the deal. It might be, I'm not really sure, but first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to set my shallow water highlight just to give me a better idea of what I'm looking at here. I'm going to set this shallow water highlight. You come, basically the way you get to this, you go menu, menu, 
hummingbird chart on the helix is what you want to find right here and then you're going to scroll down to shallow water highlight it's at five right now i'm going to crank that up to 10 because i'm probably not going to be fishing walleyes in 10 feet of water in august right now on this lake um so right away you see all this red start popping out at you um you know a lot of kind of there's really not a lot of big sh super shallow main lake flats it looks like uh which is good which probably means a lot of these um, reefs or humps are probably that that mid-depth kind of stuff so the next thing I'm gonna do and I think the sweet spot we pr we're probably gonna set it right around 17 ish feet and this is all just kind of preliminary stuff we have no idea so this is just kind of what I think for right now so depth highlight this is my number where I always want to select my sweet spot so I'm gonna turn this up to 17 right now and let's say at the shallowest end right now, I think I might be catching fish in, oh, let's say, you know, 13, 14 maybe. So I'm going to probably set this. And then I come down here to my depth highlight range, which is your next one down. And I'm going to set this at, let's say, three or four for right now. So that's going to highlight everything in green. That's four feet plus or minus 17. So it's going to go all the way out to 21 and all the way down to uh, 13. So... Now you come back to the lake here and a lot of these flats are gonna start popping out at us real nice. So one of the biggest rules of thumb that I always like to do is I wanna start in the biggest basically open basin of the lake closest to a lot of deep water, um, especially this time of year in the middle of summer. So, you know, I'm not gonna fish a spot probably like this way down in this big flat bay. Um, at least that's not somewhere we're definitely gonna start. You know, here you just have a big kind of flat in that zone, it's probably a big uh, flat bay with a little bit of structure out in front of it, but you come north a little ways here and you get some island complex stuff going on and this is like that 50 40 foot area it's the deepest part in the lake so we've got a couple of cool deals out here this one right here probably looks like a likely candidate uh, we have a lot of this structure is in that green zone um, you can see it's a real tight break coming off this so this is definitely kind of one of the spots we're going to start at and i'm just going to throw a waypoint down here so when we get out there it's easy to just kind of see where that was next thing we're going to do this the tail end of this looks pretty good uh, you can see again it's pretty steep it's close to deep water it's got a couple of high spots in it and anytime you have those greens with some high spots in there you know walleyes love that kind of up and down stuff and kind of the sweet spot you know when you look at a spot like this anywhere where you have a tail that runs out like this here you can see even though this tails in much deeper water than what we're originally thinking we're going to fish these corners like this, anytime you have a reef that has a corner like that, um, you know, or a mud flat that has a corner, anything like that is generally kind of a sweet spot. All right, guys, so here's kind of another cool one down here. I love fishing these kind of spiny looking areas because they're real easy to locate fish. I mean, this isn't a huge spot, but it's got good structure kind of in this zone. I know this is a little bit deeper, but it just looks good. The top of that's at 23. Um, no shortage of structure out here so you know here's kind of just basically we highlighted a few of the spots that we're going to look at real quick with the depth highlight it makes it super easy just to kind of find these areas you think there's going to be fish and if we start getting out there and we're like man all these fish are in 23 we can obviously tweak our settings so um that's just a little bit you know kind of when i'm looking at a lake it gives me areas to start um you know when i'm doing all the stuff on the computer is basically just to make sure there's a, a catchable amount of walleyes in there um it doesn't seem like it gets fished very hard for walleyes especially in the middle of summer um so yeah my guess is we're probably going to go out here uh see what we see it's august so if we're fishing live bait we're either probably going to be spinner fishing or uh um doing some live bait uh jig crawler or slip over crawler so that's kind of the plan now you know obviously the next step we do before we start fishing is to go out there drive around these spots and do a little bit of sonar work so before you get to the lake obviously it's a real easy with the hummingbird and with the internet to just kind of see what's going on in that lake and kind of get a little bit of an idea in your brain about where you can start and what you can do and stuff like that so thanks for watching guys you know make sure you stay tuned for the next one because we're about to get in the truck go to the lake see if we can find some walleyes and the third step is going to be see if we can catch those walleyes